Hey everyone, Mike Les here. Uh, afternoon of Friday, October 5th, 2018. I am running uh, John Deere S670 uh, Combine with the 8 row corn head. And this is the first corn field, or first field of corn that I worked this season. This is the first one that we planted here uh, towards the end of April. I think I worked this on uh, Friday night, April 28th, I think it was. Don't hold me to that. It was planted the next day, that Saturday. This was 114 day corn. This is not the first field of corn we harvested, but uh, we're in it now here. And uh, overall, like most of the crops around here, pretty good corn. Uh, this is uh, monitor right now says this corn's about 19.3% moisture. And the average yield, according to the monitor, is around 260 bushel. So overall, some uh, pretty good corn here. Uh, there's my warning, grain tank is three quarters away full, but I can go quite a bit after that till it's actually full. Anyways, uh, just bringing you some in the cab footage here. I will definitely have a longer video of us shelling corn with uh, some great uh, drone footage and so forth. Just thought I would do something a little different here and show you from the inside of the cab. Okay, I think we're about to get rained out here, so uh, it was fun while it lasted. It's raining just north of here at the Bends, uh, just about two miles, so uh, it's getting pretty dark to the west, so I'd say uh, this might be my last eight rows here for the day. We'll just have to see. Well, the rain is uh, just right there. It's raining at the Bends. We got the semi-empty and uh just gonna call her quits i don't want to get caught in the middle of it so fold the bin extensions in and i guess that's it and maybe it'll go around us and i'll be back here in a little bit well it's officially raining here so we stopped just in time sometimes you keep pushing and then you get caught in the middle of the rain. But uh, made the right decision here. Quit just in time. Got the combine empty, grain cart empty, last truck. Another truck was on its way, but like I said, it's raining at the bin, so he turned around. I'm gonna get in my truck and I guess I'm gonna go home. guess that's gonna do it looks like it's really raining over there and I did see lightning so I'm just gonna go ahead and move the tractor and grain cart here I like everything lined up you know just like the custom harvesters do out west I like to keep everything straight so when people are driving down the road they're like wow those guys know what they're doing
Yeah, the rain is coming down. Uh, made the right decision for sure. Got the windshield wipers on high and headed home. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a, just a tad over an inch. That all happened in probably about 20 minutes. I guess that'll stop us for a little bit. So there is a terrible smell in the air. Started this morning, so I uh, went down the road here, uh, neighboring farm. They had some sludge or human crap here uh, piled up, and they were spreading it today. So that's what's got the smell going in the air, and this just smells awful. Even after the inch of rain, it's still uh, in the air pretty good, and uh, smells like one of those uh, outdoor outhouses at a national park where the toilet just drops a hole right in the ground. It's about that smell. There's a veal farm up the road. I thought that was some of the worst smelling stuff, but this uh, sludge or human crap tops that. Anyways, to end this video, here is some bonus footage from last weekend from the seat of the grain cart tractor. And I want everyone's opinion. Please comment below. Should I do more of these uh, harvest vlogs? Or even thinking about doing a live stream from the cab of the grain cart tractor or combine here in the near future. So again, as always, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for many more.